Cowan, can I just join you in, in extending best wishes to everybody for Christmas in the, the house and particularly to the service officers, the, uh, the ushers, uh, the Oireachta staff for all their hard work in a difficult year. Uh, but uh, it seems Christmas started early for the Taoiseach yesterday where he entered into a, win a winter wonderland fairy tale where the uh, bank bailout never happened, the 17 billion was never taken out of the pension reserve fund to bail out the banks, there wasn't cruel uh, hardship and austerity imposed on huge numbers of people uh, which resulted in the housing crisis, the massive, massive understaffing of our health service, something we're still suffering the consequences uh, of. So I'm just wondering, I, I know in the programme for government there's a shared future, I wonder does that extend to a shared acknowledgement of the past reality that people have suffered uh, and the reality of the bank uh, bailout and will the Taunashta uh, correct the Dáil record that there was in fact a bailout of the banks Thank you very much, uh, and that it Taunashta. did cost the people of this country very dearly. Thank you Deputy Boyd Barrett, Taunashta. Thanks, Deputy. There was a bailout of the banks uh, 12 years ago, uh, and uh, the Taoiseach uh, misspoke yesterday. Uh, he's said that uh, already himself this morning, uh, and he did correct himself very quickly, in fairness, uh, in the Dáil uh, yesterday. Uh, what, he, what he meant to say was that uh, the bank's owners, the bank's shareholders, uh, were not bailed out, um, and those who own the banks, uh, those who had shares in the banks, um, lost all or almost all of their money. Some were very wealthy people, some were not. Some were just everyday people who bought bank shares uh, as part of their pension, uh, and we need to bear that in mind. Uh, the banks were nationalized, or effectively nationalized. Uh, and sometimes what happens uh, when you're government minister, when you're in politics, is people come to you and they say, I would like my sector bailed out too, like the banks were. What they often don't appreciate is that would mean that they would seek to own that sector. So, for example, if we were to bail out the fishing industry like the banks were bailed out, we would become the proud owner of all of those boats. If we were to bail out the farming sector like the banks were bailed out, we would become the owner of all Thank of those you farms. Tarnished. And I think that's the point the Taoiseach was trying to make. Thank you very much.